up and welcome people it's your boy Q from Qt up productions and today I want to go over a nice logic template that you can build for uh, basically any song that you want to make but this one in particular is for a trap type of feel uh, but I just kind of want to go over some of the elements that I have going on here so the first thing that you'll notice is I have all the drums all the drums are color coded and all of them have a gain stage plugin on them depending on what type of DAW you're in that depends on what type of uh, gain staging plugin or application that it has you, you know for you to be able to do that and what that does is regulate the signal coming into the DAW so when you move your faders here they don't have to move as far in order to get a good level going into your actual plugins and, and uh, effects and things like that I'll have another tutorial again on gain staging I have one already but I'll upload that again so that's what I have going for the drums. And if we move down over to the instruments, same thing, got a, a different type of color code. However you decide to do it is entirely up to you. Um, and then the same thing here. I have my instruments. Uh, I just decided that I would peel off a little bit of the lows on all of my instruments. It's just something that I like to do. You can choose whatever setting is right for you, or you can set it up to EQ it if you're going to use the same instruments or same type of instruments. That way you have a starting point. Again, entirely up to you. I have my gain stage, my gain stage plug-in, um, and then that's going before the EQ itself. And then, of course, anything else that you want to add. Then I have that being bust out, and that's going to its own bust. All right. And if you notice how this is going, everything is going already out to a section where I could just do a, I can move one fader and basically make everything come down. And there's a couple ways to do that also. You can take these same instruments here and you can do what's in Logic called a track stack. And then you'll have a basically a summing fader where you can do the same thing that I'm doing here, but it doesn't really have and uh, you can't change the output. The output is still, you know, going to outputs one and two. So I like to do it this way. That way, if there's anything that I want to do and group that effect, then I can do that over here. So this is where my bus effects are coming in at and I just have something like transient designer for the drums and most of the time I don't have these turned on or off but you know it just depends on how that mix is going and uh, I believe you see you know kinda how this is going uh, and then you know just picking whatever instruments that you frequently use even if it's not the same instrument just make it um, you know a, a keys uh, pad uh, lead synth guitar bass you know some of your standard uh, instruments that you know you're gonna have in every single um, uh, you know composition that you come up with depending on what the genre is if it's pop then okay you will tailor it more to pop instruments and if it's hip-hop or you know reggae anything else you know you want to tailor it towards that so this is just a quick tutorial um, like I said to go ahead and get this set up and now I'm gonna hop over and I'm gonna show you just how to build a quick one if you're in logic I'll show you how to do it. No, I am not going to send you the one that I have. You need to go in and actually do these things, and then that will get you, that will give you a better feel of the signal flow and how things have to be done. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of this one and start in the next one. So now we're back in Logic, and uh, for the sake of time, I've already basically just you know inputted some instruments. Uh, nothing major, as you can see. I uh, just added an ultra beat for my drums just four tracks of that and then for all of my instrument tracks I used one instance of alchemy and then um, the rest of them are from hybrid 3 which is on sale for a dollar so I had to cop that alright and uh, for my vocal tracks just regular audio tracks nothing different and then these are my bus tracks that I have here and those are gonna feed into here I'm gonna show you how the how to actually route those though okay so uh, again, just to reiterate, the reason why we're doing this is so that when we bring this template up and we want to make us a, a, a beat, it's already there. All the instruments are there. It's already there and open. We don't have to necessarily use the settings or the instrument that it's on, but at least the plugin is already loaded. All you have to do is just open it up, get in there, and start looking for whatever it is that you're looking for, and then uh, rock away. Okay, so... Uh, you got your drums here. I want to have all those go out and go to my drum bus. 
I have all of my instruments here. I want all of these to, guess what, go to my instrument bus. <clears throat> and then down here, I want all of these to go to my Vox bus. There. And then all of these down here, this is where those signals are coming in. Me personally, I like to have a submix track before it goes to the main out, which is the purpose of this track here. So again, I'll bust those out and bust everything down to one, which is going to the submix track. So now if I hit mute on one track, it basically cancels everything out and drops everything, which is what I'm looking for. And that basically is uh, the gist of what we're doing here. And you know, to add a few more things into it, uh, as I explained before, I wanna go ahead and come across all of these and I want to add a uh, gain stage plugin just so I can get things closer to the way that I want them as far as the gain is control uh, is concerned. Okay, that one I had my EQs first, so I could add my gains there. Um, and these would go before the compressor, or I'm sorry, uh, before the EQs. And that just kind of allows me to, to tame that level before anything else happens to the signal. Uh, but that's the gist of it. That's my time. Uh, hopefully you, someone learned something from this tutorial. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the notifications button so you stay up to date on all my latest content. And most of all, stay queued up. Peace.